Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial, and today we are painting Iron Warriors from the Age of Darkness. Yes, we have a Mark VI Space Marine here, and we are going to Iron warriors of I him. Yes, that's what we're going to do. That's a word now. We're going to Iron warriors a him. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be using the new contrast paints as sent to me early by Games Workshop, so a massive thank you to them once again. And, well, we're going to jump in and start painting him. He's been primed in Grace here because we've done all of our Traitor Legions and all of our Loyalists in Grace here because we want them to be a little bit darker than they would be in the 40k universe. They all have this kind of slightly older, more dirty, older feel, basically. Now, the colour we're going to be using first is Imperial Fist. Don't hate me. <laughs> <laughs> this is because later on, when we're going to be doing some freehand for the hazard striping that is so unique to the Iron Warriors, we want to have a yellow coat down first, and well, Imperial Fist is the funniest one to do, so we're going to be doing that. And what we're going to do is we're going to select our areas that we're going to do this on. I'm going to be following a picture that I've got here on the internet, and we'll show you like this from Warhammer Community themselves. So we're going to be doing it down here on this leg grieve. So we're just going to load up our brush with that Imperial Fist and we're just going to paint it all over the section that we want to be yellow and black. Just like that. I'm basically only doing the front. But it doesn't matter if you do go around the back a little bit. That's okay. Just like that, nice and easy. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Iron Warriors. And we're going to apply this over all of the rest of his armor, excluding his shoulder pads, because they are going to be black. However, if you've done yours in the kind of Iron warriors -y way of having the hazard stripes on the shoulder, you want to avoid it because you'll have done that in yellow. However, what we're going to do here, if you're following along with me, on the leg, so we're just going to wash the brush and just mop up that little scuff mark of Iron Warriors. <laughs> what we're going to do, basically going to draw a line going from here, down here, across the kind of middle. Because we just want... this section to be the black and yellow hazard striping. And of course, we will do the same thing again on the opposite side. But otherwise, we're gonna get this over the rest of it. So with that done, just before we shade it, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Ultramarines Blue and we're going to paint this over the top of the shoulders. This is going to be our pre-shade for our Black Templar because we want these to be a nice, clean, dark black.
So with that done, we're then going to take some black Templar. I'm going to apply this over the top of the Ultramarine's blue. Nice and simple. So whilst we're waiting for that Black Templar to dry, what we are going to do now is we're going to shade all of our silver armour, but none of our silver sort of mechanical workings, such as these kind of ports and things on the backpack, and that's because they're going to be a slightly different silver. So what we are going to do is we're going to shade all of the Iron Warrior's armour using some of the new Targor Raid Shade. I want to just get this all over but again these shades act somewhat like contrast paints so what we want to do is we want to try and get a nice smooth finish here because that color that you can see there is what we're aiming for as the kind of final sort of armor panel color Now if you do get any dark blobs, just neaten it up with some iron warriors and then go at it again with the Targor Raid Shade. And with that Targor Raid shade applied, we then take some Cassandora Yellow. I'm going to apply this over the top of our yellow panel. Like that. Whilst we're waiting for that to dry, what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Black Legion and we're going to use this to paint in all of our remaining kind of black details. So we've got areas such as the soft joints in his armour. Any of the pipes and wires. His pistol holster. And... the casing of the bolt gun. So with that done, we're still going to continue with the Black Legion because what we're going to do now is we are going to do that freehand on the leg. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint a series of diagonal lines going all the way around and then we're going to block them in. So what we want to do is we want to start down here and I'm going to aim to do about six 
or so. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start right down here, nice and simple. Just like that sort of thing. So there's one. I'm going to leave a little gap. And then we're going to start with the next one. There's two. And then the next one. and so on and so forth, until we've got all of our di diagonal lines how we like them. So with that done on the leg, what we're then going to do is going to once again take some Black Legion. I'm going to add a little bit of kind of scuffing and a little kind of like, sort of almost battle damage marks here and there. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down lead belcher. I'm going to use this to paint in the rest of the metallics. So this is going to include areas such as the weapon. And what we're going to do is we're going to brighten up some of those more mechanical areas to really create a very clear distinction between the armor color and the weapons color and well the functioning areas color so for example this sort of harness area i'm going to color that in with the lead belcher like that as well as the functional parts of the backpack like that. The only metallic we're not going to do is the little definitely not loyalist trinket.
And with that done, we're then going to take some Balthazar gold. I'm going to use this to paint in the little trinket down here. Like that. And we're also going to use this on the studs. They're not actually silver. You don't need to fully cover them. We want them to kind of have a sort of chip desk. We want to have basically the two colors on there. So I was half right. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to use some of the new reformulated Nuln Oil to shade those silver and the bouncers are gold details. As you can see, we've got this real clear distinction between our two colors. So with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Baal Red. I'm going to apply this over the top of our Iron Warriors eye lenses. And don't worry that we're doing it over really dark shaded metal. That's exactly what we want. It needs to be a really nice dark red. So with that done, our Iron Warrior is now what I would call a War Hipster battle ready. He's looking pretty awesome. However, what we're going to do now is going to take him to the next level. I'm going to do this by adding some highlights. And the first one we're going to add is Lead Belcher. I'm going to be using this to highlight all of his silver armor. Don't worry about the areas that we did originally with Lead Belcher. I'm going to highlight them slightly differently. But now, you just want to go around with the lead belcher. Picking out all of the armor edges. Just like this. So with that lead belcher highlight applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some iron breaker. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the silver that we haven't already highlighted, so the weapons that we did with Lead Belcher, like that. But we're also gonna use this to add a little spot highlight to our armor, just picking out the sharp edges, which is the gorget. Like that. And then we're also gonna highlight the gold with the iron breaker as well. Nice and simple. So with that done, all the metallics are finished. So what we're gonna do is move on to highlighting the shoulder pads. Now the first color we're gonna be using for this is rust gray. We're just gonna pick out the edges with a nice narrow highlight. Just like this. And with that done, we're then going to take a tiny, tiny amount of Fenrisian Grey. We're just going to add this to the sharpest corners on our shoulder pads.
just like this. And with that done, we're now going to highlight all of our remaining black details using some thinned down Dawnstone. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take a tiny amount of Fire Dragon Bright. I'm going to use this to highlight our lenses by drawing a little line that goes around the underside. Like that. And then finally, we're going to take a teeny tiny dot of Corax White. I'm going to put this in the far corners. Of each of our eye lenses. Like that. And so here we have it. The Iron Warriors Mark VI Space Marine is now finished. I actually had a heap of fun painting this. This was really awesome and a great opportunity to just really work those new shades, especially the Targor Raid shade over the top of the silver because they've got that very unique, heavy but still sort of shiny, sort of slightly grubby, <laughs> lots of ease words <laughs> silver really really fun and well the new contrast paints and new shades absolutely are up to the task so fabulous mini if you enjoyed this video you love the channel and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you you can do so head to patreon.com forward slash war hipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash war hipster Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, exactly like these awesome folks have done. And if you just want to shoot me a little thanks just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.